Hello everyone, my name is Andre McLennan and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a grid trader. Now this is going to be for beginners guys and I'm going to show you guys how to enter in every so amount of pips and build up your grid either the market going up or market going down. Now I'm going to modify the code for set for beginners and try to keep you guys out of a negative trend. So it goes higher, higher buys for that grid. Now let's begin. First off, go to MetaQuotes. Second thing we need to do, guys, go to new right here. We're going to generate a new uh, expert advisor. We're going to call this grid trader for beginners. Okay, open this up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is add some global information, okay? Now, remember, guys, if you guys are getting the code from my website, make sure you guys differentiate the global settings and not put it in the on tick, okay? So basically, once we put the global settings there, we're going to be heading directly to our on tick, okay? So go to here, make this bigger, okay? And our on tick, we're going to be putting our first line of code as a comment. So when we're running this uh, robot, we see that the current equity plus uh, we see our current equity always floating, okay? So basically we're gonna use a comment. If you don't need know how to use a comment, just type that in and hit F1, and it'll break down uh, what that means. And this is the MQL4 reference, okay? But basically we're gonna do uh, quotation marks, current equity, plus account e uh, equity. If hit F1 against that, guys, it'll tell you basically what it is, and it'll give you the current equity of that, okay? Our next thing is we're gonna be adding our first lines of code for entering our trade okay so basically for this robot we're gonna be running it on pound yen and on pound yen we're gonna be entering basically every hundred pips every hundred pips we're gonna do an instant execution uh, instant execution buy order okay so if the ask price is gonna be our line recorder now our line recorder basically has no value right now it's at zero and I'll give <clears throat> we're gonna give it some value in a little bit but we're gonna add a hundred pips because we're on pound yen so remember guys we're working on pound yen Okay, our next couple of lines of code is going to be here. It's going to be our order, and order is going to be very simple. So if if our int buy order, so int, and int basically is just any whole number. If you do the reference, it give you how how far the negative and the positive can go. And we're going to call it buy. We're going to do an order send. And if you want the details on that, once again, uh, just hit F1. It'll bring it up. Or just go to the uh, MQL4 uh, reference. We're going to use null. Run all currency pairs available. or And we're going to do a OP buy. That means instant execution buy. We're going to use 0 0.01 lots off the ask price with the slippage of 5. Now, we're not going to use a stop loss on this so remember guys no stop loss so there's a lot of risk in associated with this uh, we're going to use off the ask price plus 500 pips our comment is going to be null and our buy magic number make sure you put that here is going to be one two five you can change it to any number you like we're going to put null right here for our time period because we're not using the pending order and we can use color blue for this okay now our next two lines, of, our next three lines of code, that's going to be very important for our control and how we manipulate our trade. Okay. First thing is we're going to ask the ask the line recorder that we put up here in the global settings to equal the ask price, and our current line recorder two to equal the ask price. We're going to be using this information later on in the code. Okay. Now our line recorder equals the ask. Once this gets recorded as the ask. We have to wait for the next ask price to break 100 pips is about, and then we'll be entering our next trade, okay? Now, we're going to be adding our second line of code, because this makes sure that we enter in orders every 100 pips going up. But what about going down? Here's our order for that, okay? And I'll break it down step by step. All right, go here, to line 47. Now, if the ask price is greater than line recorder 2 minus 100 pips right here. If it's less, then we're going to be adding our line recorder down, okay? 
Now we do the same information that we did before on line 43. It's the exact same as here, 500 pips, and then line recorder two. Now I told you guys we're going to be doing something a little bit different with this grid trader, and this is going to be locking in at certain prices and having it always lock in. Okay. I'm going to be breaking this down to you step by step. Okay. Now the first part of it is a little bit confusing because I don't go over it very often, but it's still for beginners guys. It's just a little bit more complex. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I forgot a couple of bit of the code. All right. So we're going to be using an, a for loop. Basically it's going to scan through our total orders and verifying uh, and selecting them and then modifying them. Okay. I'll get to that point in a second. So our for loop is going to start with the int. An int is going to be an I. It can be any value. It can be X. It can be B. It can be J. It can be K. It can be anything. But for this example, we're going to use I. Now we're going to use orders total. I is going to equal order total. So once we have one order in on this uh, expert advisor, I will equal one. Long as I is greater than or equal to one, minus minus, it's going to cycle through and go through our trades, our active uh, selection. Okay. Now our order select is going to be I as our current position. And it's going to select the position most trade. If this is true, we're going to go through and verify if the order right here, if the current selected order is an op, is an OP buy like this right here, and the order symbol equals a symbol and the magic number equals the magic number. If all of these pass, we're going to continue on to our code. Okay. Let's continue on to the code right here on line 58. Now uh, line 50, I'm sorry, on line 60 right here. Let's go up a little bit. We're going to ask if the ask price is open, uh, the ask price is, uh, is greater than the order open price, whatever current price we selected, is greater than 200 pips. If that is true, we will continue down and we'll do an order modify. That's going to be order ticket, bull modify, order, and this basically creates our ticket price for the selected order. And we're going to do bull modify. So when you do order modify, it's a bull statement. See? So it's going to be true or false on that. And then if it's true, it's going to modify. If not, that's not going to modify. We put our INT, our int order right here. We're going to do, for this right here, you guys can, let's go to the reference. Our double price, I'm going to be zero. We're going to do order open price plus 75. That's, it's going to lock in our stop loss at 75 pips. And the order take profit is going to be the same. Zero and then clear red. And then when that happens, we're going to do print take a uh, trade lock for buy order. You guys can be printed as anything you want. We're going to hit compile. It runs clean. And remember, guys, if you need the code, it's on my website. And we're going to see how this grid trader works, okay? Go back to our trader. And we're going to be grid traders for beginners. All right. Now, uh, over here, we're going to use the four hour and a spread of two. And we're going to use uh, the beginning of the year to currently today, okay? And go back here to the 11. And we're going to hit start, okay? 3, 2, uh, 1, start. Now, we're also going to make the settings a little bit different. Hit pause so you guys can see it, okay? And we're already into an active trade. And we're going to use candlesticks. If you want to change that, just hit F8. So we have no stop loss, so there, you got to understand that, guys. And uh, let's get the grid running. So you can see that every 100 pips it enters in a trade. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. And then you can see that it's locking in the trade as it goes. See? Locks in trade. Take profit on that. Uh, let's see. As it keeps on going. See? How it locks in a trade. Hits target profit. Now, with this code, guys, you guys can modify the stop loss amount. Modify the spread amount. Modify... Also, uh, how much it takes home. See, so far we're taking home, and every time it hits 100 pips, it keeps on locking in trades. You can do 200, 300, it's all up to you. Uh, but there is associated risks, it can you know keep going down lower and lower. So that's why I did a 0 0.01 lot on here, and you can see that it's working pretty good so far. And 
it won't keep adding down until it keeps going lower. But it's just an easy way to trade, guys. Uh, easy way to use it. Uh, there are some negatives to this uh, strategy, so be aware of that. Uh, if we hit... Now, there is some things that we can add, like a reset to it, but I wanted to keep it very simple for you guys, okay? And you can see that our current equity is a little bit higher. And if we hit pause, we can see that our overall accounts above, there is some big spikes here and there, but just how it is when it comes to making a grid robot. But this is just a different style. If you guys want me to make more robots like this, let me know. But remember the code's on my website. Join the Telegram, subscribe, and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.